Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we're going to be looking at some incredible industrial manufacturing processes you need to see. Make sure to stick around to see some mattresses get recycled. Engines are the hearts of many a machine, but have you ever seen a powerhouse like this one? It's the WINGD12X92DF, a ship engine that's possibly bigger than your house. Engineers are working hard to assemble this massive unit precisely. Each component weighs hundreds of tons for a total weight of about 2,100 tons. At just 80 RPM, your large cargo vessel will draw 85,610 horsepower from it. Furthermore, the engine meets Tier 3 pollution criteria, ensuring a cleaner climate interaction. Laser technology is evolving and transforming industrial processes. For example, removing burnt carbon from glass molds has never been easy. There are various chemical and ultrasonic solutions available, but none are as quick as a laser technology. It cleans an impressive amount in a single pass, as if there was nothing there to begin with. It also saves a significant amount of time and money. Two layered corrugated pipes consist of a smooth inner wall and external spiral wall. They are made out of high density polyethylene. The tube is made by winding a corrugated profiled outer layer of high density polyethylene on a smooth inner layer that is extruded and welded in continuity. The presence of a profiled hose in the outer layer significantly improves the pipe's strength. As a result, P10PE spiral pipe can be manufactured in a variety of stiffness classes. When you look around today, you will notice that most things are made of iron because it possesses high strength and is the fourth most abundant element in the Earth's crust. Various molding methods are used in the production of its products. This machine shapes the metallic unit into a round shape by using the ring rolling technique. A glass room operator ensures that these molded pieces are in the desired shape. Ring rolling is now widely used for seamless machining bearing rings, hubs, flanges, thin wall cylinders, and many other components.
You may have your own reasons for throwing out that old mattress of yours, but did you know that 90% of them can be recycled? Every day, hundreds of mattresses are delivered to the Reed's House Recycling Facility. First, the metal within the mattress is detected and removed. The covers are then removed and the remaining foam is cut into blocks. These foam blocks are then shredded further into small pieces for chemical recycling. Chemical recycling is a process of separating polyurethane foam from its original chemical raw materials. The polyol can be obtained using a specific chemical recycling technology known as glycolysis, which can then be used to make a new foam. Computer numerical control, better known as CNC, has revolutionized the world of manufacturing. In this clip, you can get a glimpse of it. Here, these machines produce large spiral bevel gears, and the CNC technology helps for all grinding and turning operations. Klingenberg's C300 is the world's most giant face homping machine, ensuring reliable cutting. Moreover, experts put each unit through extensive physical testing. Cotton is the most common natural fiber used to make yarn. Tons of new cotton is delivered to the yarn factory and cleaned by machines. The fibers are then separated further during the carding process before assembling those into a loose strand known as slivers or toes. These slivers are then moved onto the drawing machine. It aligns and stretches many slivers at a time. The yield is then reduced to a finer thread, more twists are added, the thread becomes more strong, and it is wound onto a smaller tube by a roving machine. They spin and twist the yarn until it is 60 times thinner than its slivers. From cotton fiber to fine fabric, it takes 48 hours of machine work. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to hit that notification bell to get notified when we release new content.